Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another coloring book review for you today. Uh, before we get started, some general information. There's a subscription bar. Uh, all my social media links are down below. There's a tip jar right there, as well as an Amazon wish list down below to help fund the channel. So uh, let's get started. Um, this is a coloring book by uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Uh, it's called A Fantasy Adventure. This book is uh, has 55 pages single-sided pages. Um, it retails for about uh, $19.95, but Amazon had it for, uh, I think, uh, between $12 and $17. Like, I checked one day and it was $12, and I checked the next day and it was $17. So that's about the range that Amazon will have it for. Um, although you can get an autographed copy for a little bit more from her website, and there'll be a link to all that information down below. Um, her work has appeared in all sorts of things, uh, figurines, um, many books, uh, as well as a tarot card deck and all sorts of other things, um, has been used by many, many different companies. So when you start, um, it'll give you, uh, there's a picture and some information about her as well as her website where you can find out about her. This is the first book that I've received from an artist that was autographed, which is pretty awesome to get that. That was really, really exciting. Um, so there's an introduction there's uh some information on the page there is not a um uh, a testing page like a blank page to test your medium but that's okay um you know we always make do when the page is not available but we do prefer it um when i say we i mean me um i do prefer there to be a uh medium page for you to test your medium but if it's not available it's not available um there's uh, also to various uh inspirations for these um, this is Alice in Wonderland, and I believe this is uh, Snow White on the other side. And um, one of the things I've seen in only a few books um, that are single-sided is at the back of the page will have information about the picture. And I always love to see that because it is single-sided, and that's a great way to use that um, that back page in a way that doesn't impede your coloring. So there is that. And as you can see, her style is a very unique, uh, whimsical sort of... Um, Maybe, like, I would say it's sort of at a crossroads between the whimsical, the anime, and the dark. Uh, and it's a really nice style. Uh, it's, you know, it's a very interesting style. So, um, but all the all the faces and the images are, are done in that style. There's girls of all sorts of different ages. There's, you know, everything from women to um, younger girls, like maybe teens or preteens. And then um, you can see some of the different, um, some of the the different uh, uh, women here. And some some of the I think there's uh, uh, three or four pages that have four different images in one page. So that really maximizes the the number of um, of images that you that you get in the book. So that's really nice to see that um, and to be able to to color that. This one is um, the Raven. Uh, and I really like this one. I was just reading, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, uh, YouTuber called, uh, Thug Notes. And he does, uh, a sort of, uh, urban take on my, on, uh, classic literature. And so I was watching his, uh, the Thug Notes version of The Raven. Anyway, um, back to the coloring book. And I really enjoyed that. So, um, so there's, uh, all sorts of different, um, images. Some of them are, <laughs> much more, you know, dark or maybe even post-apocalyptic, I would say. Um, but it's still like, you know, it's not like gruesome or anything. So it's still very, very accessible. I would definitely say that this book is accessible to all, if not most ages. Um, maybe, you know, I think maybe really young children probably wouldn't appreciate this, but you know, we're all adults here, so this is fine for all of us here. So this is a great book uh, for us. And it's also because um, because there's so much space for you to do your shading and your layering. This really is accessible to all levels of coloring because, you know, if you're a beginner, you can just do these wide swaps. But if you want to go in there um, and do things in a sort of in a very micro detailed way, you totally can. The space is here for you to do that. So that's really nice to see um, and to give you that flexibility to be able to sort of, you know, make it your own, really, in, in the best way possible. So that's really nice to see. Um, some like this, where there's a lot of space available for you, um, you can do this in all sorts of different mediums. The paper is really, really thick. So it's, um, 
So this is another um, thick artist paper that we're starting to see more and more books give us this thick paper, which really I've been um, begging for since I started coloring. So I'm glad that more and more companies are giving us this thick paper um, and giving us a chance to, uh, to have this in this thicker paper. I think I missed a page here. There you go. Uh, the other thing is because the paper is so thick, sometimes you think you've missed a page when you haven't. Um, this is a more grown-up uh, Alice in Wonderland. Um, so that's kind of, you know, sometimes you have to be, you know, a little bit careful. Uh, and this is a this is a, a nice big book, too. Tripod is extended all the way out, and it's still not getting everything in. But um, but it's getting, you know, most of it in and giving you definitely a sense of what you're, um, of what you're getting here. Um, and I believe that's the last one. And I really want to do this one and maybe one other in uh, oil pastels. Um, but I just got to figure out, I may have to like purchase some specific colors for the skin tones because I don't have sets for skin tones. But, um, but anyway, uh, that's just, that's just me. So let me show you the medium test that I did. And you may have seen it when we first started going through the book. Uh, this was done in the Tombow watercolor pen. I'm sorry, not watercolor pen, a water soluble pen. The, the Tombow water, uh, dual brush pen, water based. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. The Tombow water based ink. Um, so there's that. And then this was done in watercolor uh, pencil and this was done in regular colored pencil and let me show you uh, the watercolor pencil as well as the Tombow pen that they do not uh, in any way like buckle the page or anything like that so this is going to be great for you if you really enjoy watercolor as well as this is the Faber-Castell pit pen and let me show you once again, no bleeding on the other side. So um, my co my Copic, Copic uh, ran out of ink a while ago and I haven't bothered to replace it um, to get a new ink refill. So, um, so I can't test the Copic, but my guess is that there's probably not going to be very much bleeding on here for the Copic or very little. Um, so you will be able to use your Copics on this uh, since they're single sided and on this thick, thick paper. Um, but anyway, it's 55 images in all, and it's really well, well done um, for you guys to see. Uh, some of these, I just really can't wait to get my oil pastels out because there's definitely going to be some of these that I'm totally going to do in the oil pastels. Um, so that's one of the things that's really nice about, you know, getting more coloring books that give us this thicker paper so we can try out all these different mediums that we know and we love. So anyway, this is the, this is the book in whole. And I hope you guys like this review. If you like this video, like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel down below. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, if there's anything you want to see in the future. I'm keeping a list now of all the things that people requested so that I can just, um, do things from from a list as opposed to having to make myself remember it um there's a whole bunch of really really exciting things coming up so i hope you guys uh subscribe and i will see you guys next time have a great day bye